Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Rob and today we're going to be going over how we animated the Lego minifig for the 1000 subscriber special video. Which by the way I was reading the comments and thank you so much for your kind words. Really makes me confident that you guys love what I do and I'm going to keep doing it. I didn't want to leave you guys without any technical content for this week so we have this. This Lego minifig model I actually did not create. I got it from GrabCAD from user Leonardo Carrera. It's a nice Lego and I agree. Um, I was actually surprised about how well modeled this was. It really made it easy to animate and I'll show you exactly why. So here is the model. When you download it from GrabCAD, this is what you get. So no face, so I had to fix that. And it also had this logo on his shirt. So. Um, taking out the logo is pretty easy. I just open up the shirt part and I just clicked on the letters that cross highlights and I can just suppress that. So that's removing the logo. Pretty simple. As far as making the face, I'll actually show you the finished, um, the finished assembly. Go to this and yeah, I just drew a sketch on the plane and wrapped it onto the surface. Same for the mouth. Just kind of drew it, wrapped it on the surface, and then colored it black. And that was most of the um, cosmetic, uh, practically all the cosmetic differences other than the, the colors. You notice that I have different color shirts just to mix it up a little bit. As far as animating this, I actually used the exact same technique that I use in my Minecraft parrot video where I started with a mate controller and then moved on to a motion study. But before I, ha I could use a mate controller, I needed to add some mates. So I added uh, these angle mates to try and control different aspects of the body. So there's the angle of the hand with respect to the arm so I can actually set rotation. Um, there's angle of the foot with respect to this part, the other foot, the arm with respect to his shoulder, the other arm, and then the head because the head turns. And then the piece de resistance, I, su I suppose, is this path mate, which that's how I made him walk along this path. And I can actually uh, set it with this percentage. Pretty convenient. So when you go into mate controller, you can see I have a number of positions here. His head is going the other way. Um, I have a number of positions, so all the angle mates are in there with the path mate, and I was able to type in numbers, like same technique as the Minecraft parrot video. And when I got something, whoops, when I got something kind of close, so basically I just had him move along the path. He turns, his arm turns his head, but notice he doesn't wave his hand at all and his legs aren't moving. But that's okay because I would have had to put a lot of positions if I were to animate the swinging of the legs. But this is good because the mate controller provides a start. So once that mate controller was there, I opened up a new motion study. I'm just gonna hit no to that. Or, you know, I'm just gonna pretend uh, create new motion study. You can go to the animation wizard and import the mate controller. So just like that, it gets you halfway there. I'm gonna go back to my original one. Let's see it play. Yeah, so you can see this is where I finished off the animation, had the little things going. There he turns the, <laughs> I, I thought the little twisting of the arm was a little cute little gesture. It's like, how would a Lego man wave? Well, he only has one degree of freedom on his hand, so uh, might as well make him twist his whole hand. Things coming back for another round. Yeah, but um, the way I took care of that is I um, actually ended up suppressing the mates that I created for the legs. So yeah, I actually excluded them from the study. So I kind of added them and ended up not using them, but that's okay. You know, I was expecting to, expecting to use them in the mate controller and I didn't. But instead, uh, for each of the legs, I put this rotary motor so you can see it is set to this cylindrical face. And instead of just a constant rotation, I put this oscillating motion. 
um, it'll oscillate back and forth 9 degrees, uh, 90 degrees, excuse me, one time, uh, one time per second, and the phase shift is 0 degrees. So, which is important because when I get the other, yeah, I set, I have the phase at 180, so the directions are opposite. So it starts going the opposite direction. So you can see if I open up the, um, the chart here. Yeah, you can set where the start point is. So at zero, it would be down here, but at 180, it would be up here. So those are the legs. And the hand is just a basic rotary motor. So you can see on the hand, I put a motor on the cylindrical face, constant speed, 100 RPM. I was just kind of guessing at these numbers and you know, was just was just checking what looked good. And then after that, you know, I just set the camera position, you know, hit calculate. All right, so hitting play here, you can see he's gonna come into frame. So I had him off frame completely. There he is, turns his head. Now I should raise the arm and now the rotation. And now, doesn't that look cute? So, um, I was pretty sure that I was gonna use this three-point faded background. I kinda like it, you know, it's good contrast. But what I ended up doing is I went into the scene, went into the background, and changed it from the image to a color. And the color I set to green. So I pulled the green screen trick on it. And you can see that was helpful at the very beginning of the video. I had him walk across the screen just kind of over my face. And then I just replaced the background. So this allows me a little bit more flexibility. So if I wanted to change the background, I didn't have to re-render it. I just change what's in the background of the green screen effect. Yeah, and that's basically it. That's animating the Lego dude. So yeah, thanks again for 1000 subscribers and I will see you in the next video.